Look at the clouds up there. They're separated right down the middle. Almost as if some of the clouds don't like some of the other clouds. Stay on your side, clouds. No, you stay on your side, clouds. Imagine having one of those. That's riding in style right there. Welcome everyone, Adam the Woo here. I need to go inside Best Buy and get some driving tunes. I've liked these guys a long time. They've definitely matured and grown a lot since their early albums. My favorite, probably Dookie, Kerplunk, 1039 smoothed out slappy hours. In fact, check out the tattoo. I used to have this thought process when I was younger that a band should basically put out the type of album that I fell in love with. They should put the same type of songs out, formula, that same template on every album. And when they didn't, when they started to mature and have other things to say, or they wanted to try to experiment with different types of things in their music, I would genuinely get upset. But as I've gotten older, as I've gotten wiser, I have started to realize that people change, people mature, people evolve. Who am I to say that someone should do exactly what I want? I think doing videos has opened my eyes and being way more creative in life now than I was when I was younger has really changed my opinion. Casey Neistat? It's my second channel, Daily Vlog Channel. It's the Daily Woo. We all knew this day would come. I, as well as anyone. It's time. It's time. I haven't worn a different style of sunglasses in over five years. Ah, oh, man, this is like a weird experience for me that I'm going to be wearing something new inside there. A little sun flare coming in for dramatic effect. Look at these. Oh, man. I don't even want to try them on. It's such a weird feeling to be holding new glasses that are not bent and sideways. Here we go. What do you guys think? Man, these are comfortable though. I'm not gonna lie. These are really, really comfortable. All right, continuing on. I gotta say, these were very durable for the years that I wore them. Now I'm gonna put them in a safe place. You can go home and sleep well. Check out that trolley. There's a face on the front of it. This is an F-16A Fighting Falcon Fire Control Maintenance Simulator. Look at this, this is cool. And this is a chemical protection suit, kind of like a gas mask, but I think it protects more than just gas. I think it protects you from a wide variety of chemicals. U.S. Army Communications Terminal. You could see they typed out things as well as using the phone. And you could use that out in the field. Could you imagine being ejected out of that seat? What's it like to be ejected from a seat? I think it'd be pretty terrifying, but that's what it is. It is an ejection seat. They have a variety of knives, a bayonet, a bayonet for a rifle, a trench knife, a dagger. And look at this one, that could do some serious damage. It's basically like an ice pick with a handle. As I look at these, I don't know if I've ever seen a grenade in real life before. I'm sure I have, but it's not something you see every day, that's for sure. Wow, check this out. This is a World War I canteen. And look how rusted and old it is. That's a, that's a pretty cool old relic. 
I have passed this place multiple times and never stopped in. I'm glad I stopped in today though because there's a lot of cool stuff in here. Look at these. Wow. Fascinating to think that this photo was taken 104 years ago. That place was pretty awesome. There was a lot more in there than I thought there would be. If you're ever in Orlando or around the theme park area, regions off of Highway 192, come check it out. Man, is it just me? Or do I look totally different? Maybe no one will recognize me. I'm incognito. The name of the place is the Museum of Military History. Those clouds are starting to formulate a little bit up there. Back to business as usual when it comes to weather here in Central Florida. However, I will say this, the humidity level has been kind the last couple days. Look at this cool guy on the mud flap. He's wearing a trucker hat. I just realized something from a video I did a couple weeks ago that I forgot to mention. I showed all the places I've lived in Central Florida and I forgot two of them that I lived with my fiance. It's weird saying that, but yes, I was supposed to get married at one point. Which is super bizarre, because I totally, it totally slipped my mind. I lived in this house right here, and my band used to practice in that far left window in that room. The house is in much better shape now than it was when we lived there. We eventually moved into an apartment a couple miles from here, and then we broke up. And I haven't talked to her since. No clue where she is. Life is weird like that sometimes. Super bizarre that I forgot about that. Or maybe I just didn't want to remember. This is a road called King's Highway. It dead ends about a mile or two up this way. I wanna show you something interesting up here on the left. Well, this is a bummer. They've started developing it. This little driveway used to lead to an area where you could sit and look through binoculars and see the bald eagles off in those trees. There was a viewing area right there next to that tree and the eagles are right up here, or should I say, used to be right up here. Hopefully they haven't moved. Yeah, if you look closely, you can see their nest up there. Check it out. Look at it right there. You see the nest? Right there. That's so cool. They're probably flying around somewhere off gallivanting. At least that's what I'm telling myself. Hopefully the construction did not drive them far, far away. Because there's just some pretty majestic creatures if you've ever seen one in person. This picnic table right here? I did my 40th birthday vlog sitting at that picnic table from this park. We haven't really had a heart-to-heart -heart conversation back and forth, you and I, in a while. I think now's as good a time as any. Tomorrow, my friend is flying in bright and early, well, prior to being bright and early, at 5 a.m. Airport's about 45 minutes from here. I will be going to pick him up, and then four straight days, he will be visiting, going to Walt Disney World. He has never been, and he's a huge Disney fan. Never been to Orlando, so I'm gonna show him the ropes. I mentioned this last week. Just wanna give you guys a disclaimer, spoiler alert, a warning that the next four days, the vlogs will be entirely Walt Disney World. Nothing off property, nothing else, only Walt Disney World. Magic Kingdom, Epcot, Animal Kingdom, Hollywood Studios, the former MGM. So if you do not like that type of content, feel free to just wait four or five days and come back to the vlog. And if you so choose to watch it, please show a degree of kindness in the comments. What I do is unlike a lot of other YouTubers who do one particular subject, I like to do anything that is out of the house, that is off the couch, that is going out into the world and doing stuff. And because I have 
harnessed myself into this format, it makes it very difficult to please everyone. And there are people who do not like certain subjects. There are people who do not like theme parks. People do not like movie locations. There are people who do not like abandoned stuff. There are people who do not want to hear me rant and rave and speak from the heart. I understand that. Everyone is different. That is what makes this beautiful world go around. But all I ask in return, because I am trying to keep these vlogs on a daily basis positive and happy, please try to do the same in the comment section. And for that, I'm sending a huge thank you to you for indulging me in what I do all the time. I try to mix things up. I feel like I do a pretty accurate and acute job of doing that. At least, at least I do my best. I love you guys. I really do. And these shades are going to take some getting used to. It's so hard to say goodbye to yesterday. Vlog over.